Greetings everybody, this is Dennis Bridges with eTrucker Tax and it's great to be with you guys today and we want to say hello to all of our friends with Real Women in Trucking. I especially want to say uh, a very special greeting to my friend Desiree Wood for uh, allowing us the opportunity to be a part of this experience. We want to thank you Desiree not only for what you're doing with Real Women in Trucking but what your entire group is doing to improve trucking improve conditions, improve compensation, not only for women in trucking, but for all truckers. So we want to, to wish a hearty thank you to, to all of you. Uh, again, we want to thank you for allowing us the opportunity to, to be a part of this grand experience. We hope you guys are all having a wonderful time there on your cruise. And quite honestly, we are seriously jealous that we're not there with you. So therein is the reason for my get up here and my margarita glass. Hope you guys are having uh, a ton of fun and we're going to try to have just a little bit of fun with you. Uh, as we get into the program today, we want to touch on some uh, uh, hot tax topics and we know uh, very often that taxes are not necessarily fun to talk about so we're going to try to keep it as light as possible. One of the things that we're going to be talking about is the effect of the new tax law that was just passed uh, this past December. Uh, we're going to talk about the effect of it upon owner-operators as well as company drivers. We're also going to talk about uh, some of our very favorite tax-cutting strategies and some of the things that, that we're able to do to help owner-operators and company drivers to cut their taxes year after year. And finally, we're going to talk about some of the ways that you can rid yourself of an IRS problem, whether minor or severe, once and for all. Uh, so uh, stay tuned with us. Uh, it's a pleasure to be with you today and look forward to sharing this experience with you. One of the things we'll be talking about a little bit later on is how you can um, uh, get a free copy of our tax checklist for uh, truckers and so we'll be giving that information in just a few minutes. Take care. We want to talk about some of the changes that took place uh, just very recently with the new tax law that was signed into law on December 20th, uh, 2017. Uh, one of the things that has been so confusing, especially to truck drivers, is that there were uh, specific effects uh, that affect both company drivers as well as owner-operators. So we want to touch on some of those changes and see how both groups of people can take advantage of those changes. First, let's talk about some of the changes that affect specifically owner-operators. Under the new law, one advantage for owner-operators, uh, which includes of course anyone uh, that's paid on a 1099, uh, all of those drivers as well as fleet owners uh, are still able to uh, deduct all of your expenses uh, just as before. Um, whether, whether it's um, uh, for fuel, repairs, uh, cell phone, permits, all of those things that you've been deducting previously, you're still able to deduct if you're an owner-operator under the new tax law. Uh, one of the things that is a huge benefit, uh, again specifically for owner-operators, is that uh, as long as you are uh, doing business either under a sole proprietorship or an LLC or what's called a pass-through entity, like a partnership or an S corporation, you're going to be able to deduct the first 20% of your net income and get that tax free. So literally, let's say for the sake of argument that uh, for, this, uh, for this year that we're in right now, 2018, if your net income uh, is, to, let's say, $50,000, well, guess what? Approximately the first 10000 of that, you're going to be able to get tax-free so that you'll literally just be taxed on uh, 40,000 of it instead of the full 50,000. So it's literally like getting $10,000 tax-free. Uh, so whatever your net income is, whether it's lower than 50 or higher than 50, uh, you, get, you get that benefit. One of the other benefits is that uh, depreciation rules were eased up uh, under the new tax law. Uh, for example, under the old law, uh, you were limited uh, to a certain amount of depreciation that you could take uh, per year. So if, if you happen to have purchased uh, a new tractor and trailer 
uh, say costing two or three hundred thousand dollars, you might not be able to take a full deduction for that. Those rules were, were made substantially more liberal under the new tax law, so again, that's a substantial tax benefit that we can use to, to help you determine uh, what, over what period it would make sense to take that depreciation. If you're, if you're going to be having a, a very, very good year for 2018, then it's very likely that we'd want to take a higher portion of depreciation. Or if you think that your income is going to be higher in subsequent years, let's say 19 and 20 and 21, uh, then we may choose to not take a lot of the depreciation in the first year and we can spread and reserve some of that depreciation for subsequent years.